white paper details some of the mechanisms the protocol needs, you know, to be a self-sustaining decentralized protocol going forward. Pit Network aims to provide really high quality price feeds with really high update frequencies to many different blockchains. The idea of the white paper is to incentivize really high quality data providers like exchanges, market makers, trading firms to contribute their private pricing information to the protocol. Focusing a protocol on those kinds of entities is the first key idea of PIP. You kind of don't know what data is good or bad. Being able to take a bunch of data from a lot of different data providers and look at all that data and decide which data providers are providing good data and which data providers are providing bad data is a difficult technical problem. So PIP Network tries to reward data providers based on quality. And assessing the quality of a data provider is hard because you don't really know what the ground truth is, right? If one person tells you the price is 100 and another person tells you the price is 110, who do you believe? Other protocols have tried to solve this problem by checking whether the two prices agree with each other. So you get 100 people to contribute a price and take the median, and then you compare how far everyone is from the median, for example, and then you decide that the median is the true price and everyone who's close to the median gets a reward, right? That would be like the naive way to solve this problem. The problem with the solution is that it doesn't account for the fact that, you know, in reality, in markets, there are many different prices for an asset, and you don't actually expect all of your different data providers to agree. So for example, in Pith Network, we have some Asian data providers and some American data providers. And the prices of assets on Asian and American exchanges are actually slightly different a lot of the time. You know, they'll be like a fixed offset. And so this mechanism of rewarding agreement just doesn't work in that situation. The Pith Network white paper has a different mechanism for rewarding data providers, where it looks at which data provider's data is predictive of the future price. And the idea here is that we're rewarding data providers for telling the protocol when the price of an asset changes. The way the mechanism works is that it takes each data provider's price series and it trains a little model based on those prices to predict the change in the future aggregated price. This regression model, it's like, you know, it's a simple linear regression. We train it with a sort of online algorithm on chain. Basically what it does is it learns for every data provider, if their price goes up, how much should the aggregate price go up you know, a few steps out in the future. And the idea here is that we want to reward the data providers who identify when a price changes first. And so this way, what you'll see on chain is the fastest data providers will have their prices on chain move up before everybody else. And this mechanism essentially rewards those people for being early.